this short hurricane short summary is going to be going over Hurricane Anita, which happened in 1977. Going over this hurricane's formation and landfall, Hurricane Anita was seen as a tropical wave all the way back on August 16th of 77 on the west, off of the West African coast. Hurricane Anita would become a tropical depression right around smack dab in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico on August 29th. Hurricane Anita would actually manage to achieve hurricane status the next day and achieve major hurricane status, meaning Category 3 plus, on September 1st. This was due to some extremely rapid intensification for a very long period of time. This hurricane would deepen by 2 millibars per hour for two whole days, achieving a minimum of 926 millibars. Hurricane Anita would peak with one minute maximum sustained winds of 175 miles per hour just off of the Mexican shore. Lastly, Hurricane Anita would landfall only once at Soto La Marina, Tempulipas State, Mexico. The U.S. impacts are very minor. This hurricane did not make landfall upon the U.S., of course. Hurricane Anita, or at least what would become Hurricane Anita, caused some slight rain on in southern Florida. Some beaches around Texas were closed. Oil companies evacuated rig em- oil rig employees, and very few windows were broken at South Padre Island. And that is the U.S. impacts out of the way. Like I said, very minor. Again, Anita made landfall in Mexico. Mexico suffered the most. Hurricane Anita, Anita sorry, would rapidly weaken upon landfall, from 175 mile per hour winds just off the shore to only around 100 miles per hour. Not all hurricanes do this. Some hurricanes are better organized or what what have them that allow them to keep their intensity for longer. Hurricane Anita would thankfully hit a sparsely populated region of Mexico. Despite this, landslides due to the heavy rain would kill 11 in Tempulipolis State in Mexico. In total, 35,000 people were evacuated. This storm would or at least a weather station, would record 17.5 inches of rain from this storm in just six hours. That is 445 millimeters of rain. Hurricane Anita would leave 25,000 people homeless and affect at least double that number of 50,000 people. Our significance might be a little bit surprising, actually. Not only was its name, was Anita retired, and the only name to be retired from the 77 season. But Hurricane Anita, as of the time that I've recorded and made this presentation, is the latest first named storm since the United States has been tracking hurricanes. Hurricane Andrew, the first short summary that I have done, comes pretty close to this actually. However, August 29th is the latest that a tropical system has developed in the Atlantic, again as of this slide's creation. Do you also want to mention that extreme intensification? I really shouldn't have put rapid here, but it was some extreme intensification over a very long period of time. Usually um, bombogenesis, as it's also called specifically with uh, low pressures like your winter storms, is only in a period of around 24 hours, so double that is certainly a long period of time. Hurricane Anita was also the Gulf of Mexico's first major hurricane, again, major hurricane being Category 3 and up, since since 1960's Hurricane Ethel. Again, Anita had was retired from the list of names that would be used. And obviously, being retired would not be used again. Again, it is also the only name to be retired from the 77 season. 
Lastly, Hurricane Anita is actually one of only 20 recorded ocean crossers, meaning going from the Atlantic all the way to the Pacific. Anita would be a depression as it crossed past Mexico and into the Pacific. However, it would dissipate off south of Baja, California on September 4th. And that is all for Hurricane Ethel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next short summary.